Manifestation. How quickly can you manifest? In a week? A month? Two months? Many people claim that time is incalculable in manifestation. Well, the time required for manifestation truly hinges on your capacity to observe and grow. Manifestation is also contingent on your beliefs and faith. But what if I were to disclose that you can manifest within 30 minutes? What if I told you that you have the capability to manifest within an hour or even less? Would you not be astonished and eager to learn about the one magical method that can expedite your manifestation within an hour? Today, my friends, I will share with you some steps you can take to achieve rapid manifestation. The results remain unhindered if you diligently follow all the steps and concentrate exclusively on this singular technique. You will bear witness to the enchantment unfolding before your eyes. Hello and welcome to my channel. If this is your first visit, I appreciate you clicking on this video. If you appreciate what you see, feel free to hit the like button below and subscribe for more content like this. So, before we commence, if you are interested in mastering the art of manifesting and crafting the life you desire, I offer a Law of Attraction guide comprising 8 comprehensive lessons available in both audio and PDF formats. You can access it through the link in the description. Without further ado, let's proceed. The initial step is to heed your heart's guidance and embrace the natural flow of your daily life. You might find yourself ensnared by routines and schedules, but it is time to shed those constraints. Dismiss the notion of timetables and routines this very moment and cease allowing them to hold you back. When you find yourself with free time, as on weekends, what do you typically do? You follow your desires, correct? It is time to infuse that sense of liberty into your everyday existence. Allow the current of life to carry you, guided by the wisdom of your heart. For example, let's say your body craves rest. You've toiled throughout the day or week, and your body yearns for respite. Performance is impaired due to the depletion of your energy reserves from work. If your body is in need of rest, then grant it rest. If your body beckons you towards a particular activity, then embark on it. If unfinished tasks loom but you feel depleted, consider a leisurely stroll or an activity that restores your outlook on life. Likewise, in the realm of spirituality, to harmonize with your desires, you must attain a sense of contentment within your surroundings. You must dwell in a state where you believe that all your needs are met. You must inhabit that joyful state. This sends signals to the universe, indicating your happiness and fulfillment, signifying your readiness for new experiences in life. When you accomplish this and you find yourself in a state of joy, the universe sends signs your way. It is your duty to heed those signs and move on to the next step. When I speak of being joyful and going with the flow, I do not mean aimless scrolling on your phone all day. Rather, you must follow your heart and engage in activities that truly bring you genuine happiness. Think of life as a game, much like the iconic Super Mario. In that game, you cannot proceed to another level without completing the current one. To access the subsequent level, you must first conquer the challenges presented in your current level. Consider your life as a series of levels. Your current state is one level, and you have already triumphed in all the past ones. Henceforth, realize that, to unlock the next level, you must be attuned to the voice within your heart. 
By adhering to your heart's guidance, if the universe senses that you are primed for the next level, it will send you signals. You must live life to the fullest and heed your inner voice. When you follow your heart and that inner voice, you can find yourself in life-altering circumstances. That inner voice serves as the indicator that you are prepared to advance to the next level. When you conduct your affairs under the sway of anxiety, nothing falls into place. Rather, you ignore the universe's signals. Thus, when anxiety surfaces, engage in self-dialogue. Remind yourself that you are not fated to remain this way forever. You are not destined to perpetually hide behind the judgments of others or relinquish control of your life. There will be situations where you have to step forward and train yourself to overcome that anxiousness. When you stay true to yourself and ignore the outside narratives, you realize that you already have everything. Every day when you manifest, you exert energy by constantly reminding yourself of your desire. Instead of focusing on the future and telling yourself that you will succeed, shift your focus to the present. Tell your subconscious that you have it all now. For example, if you desire money and abundance, tell your subconscious that you have money at this very moment. You have everything you need, money to share, money to spend, money to save. Phrase it in words and affirm to your subconscious that you are currently living your dream. When you communicate this to your subconscious, you no longer have to force yourself to remember your desire. Your subconscious remembers it and knows that it is destined to come to you. The desire will naturally come towards you. Follow your feelings and do what you want to do in the moment. If you feel like working and pushing yourself, do it. If you have a gut feeling that you need to take a certain action, follow it. Be carefree and trust your gut instincts. Whether it's hanging out with friends, finishing an assignment, or making decisions, listen to your heart and follow your gut. In the next hour or so, engage in activities that make you feel the most productive. Do what your heart is telling you. If you want to hang out with friends, go ahead. If you want to finish your assignment, do it. You are not forcing yourself, but rather following your heart and gut. Just be relaxed and don't entertain negative thoughts or get caught up in them. For instance, if your boss talks to you in a negative tone at work, don't dwell on that moment for the rest of the day. If someone makes a comment that doesn't align with your energy, don't dwell on it either. Keep moving forward and focus on your daily activities. No negative comment or event should affect you if you want to move towards a new life. Live the way you want because your heart desires it and your body needs it. Follow your gut feelings and don't ignore them. When someone makes a comment about you, don't argue with them. Instead, respect their opinions. Don't suppress your feelings, but also don't let them hinder your progress. Follow your happiness regardless of how your day has been or the negativity in the environment. Do what you want to do and follow your heart. When you follow your heart, you feel happy and satisfied. The positive vibrations you emit attract positive energy and your desires will come to you. Trust your gut and follow what your heart says. With this, we have reached the end of this video. If you have made it this far, I thank you for listening to me. If you liked this video, please press the like button below and share it with your friends and family. It would mean a lot to me if you also subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thank you.